My role as the contact person for soil transmitted helmets and schistosomiasis in the development of the neglected tropical diseases strategic plan was to bring on board the aspect of control of food, these diseases in Kenya into the strategic plan. So my role basically was to put up a write-up uh, based on the WHO guidelines for this uh, development. Uh, I put up a write-up for trachoma control activities. And uh, my lessons from this were that trachoma action had taken uh, a number of years of control activities in the country. Uh, provided quite a number of lessons that could be learned from as we uh, prepared the strategic plan for all the entities so for us again. So you know, many lessons that were shared in the Tracoma program, how we've been carrying out uh, baseline surveys, how we've been carrying out control strategies like SEP, uh, that is surgery, antibiotic distribution, uh, facial cleanliness and the environment improvement. So what we have planned to do is that uh, we have come up with a national uh, and this, uh, neglected tropical disease strategy, right? And it is going to be implemented not as, as a country, but as a, as a whole sort of uh, three regions combined together, Africa, Asia, uh, and the Americas, especially South America, South and Central America, right? And uh, uh, it is j jointly together with that's uh, at, at, the, at the international level. Then at the country level, it will be both on prevention, right, early diagnosis, right, and treatment. The process of planning for the launch is not without challenges, especially given the fact that uh, all the stakeholders were invited to be part of this uh, planning already had uh, many activities back in their offices that they were dealing with at the, at the time. So they had to make many big sacrifices to avail themselves for, for the meetings. And uh, under the different subcommittees, each subcommittee did its best to come up with uh, uh, meeting the deadlines that were uh, given out to them as they continue to report to the major uh, group. Uh, in, in as much as the focal point persons worked tirelessly towards the, uh, the, the launch preparation, we also had these other partners who included Kenya Medical Research Institute, uh, uh, SASIPA, which is the East and Southern Africa uh, Institute for Parasite Control, which is also based in, in Cambridge. Then we had DNDI which is uh, also based in Kenya. They deal with the drugs, Leishmania drugs. And then also WHO was part and parcel of the preparation of the launch. The challenges were immense, but the, it's the commitment. Actually, what I, what I learned, the lessons I learned from this planning process were that it's not so much even how much it costs for you to do something, but how committed is it? After many weeks of planning and preparation, the launch day finally arrived, 10th November 2011. The invited guests arrived for the breakfast launch from as early as 7.30 a.m. This was a wonderful time to catch up and compare notes on progress against NTDs in Kenya. The guests were treated to eye-opening videos and statistics about NTDs in Kenya. However, efforts demonstrating the commitment of the Kenyan government through the Ministry of Public Health and Sanitation, partners and stakeholders were highlighted, culminating in the actual launch, led by the Assistant Minister of Public Health and Sanitation, also the guest of honor. The guests received brochures, leaflets and CDs to peruse at their leisure. I am delighted today as we launch the National Materials Protection Plan of Action for Control of Neglected Tropical Diseases, NTDs. <coughs> At independence, our founding fathers swore to fight three enemies of mankind, which included ignorance, illiteracy, and a disease. But I want to tell you a small story here that in fact, after 
after I finished my first degree, that's my MCA in the ring, when you go to work and sort of look at the results in the road school, you get excited and run around the, the university campus. And one of my colleagues did actually say, Ule, I've now eaten the details. And now I'm going to look for the right of poverty. That was his next issue. But he did it in a wrong way. He went out there and did wrong things and did not finish very well. He in fact he died. So you can actually say you have got literacy, but you go and fight often outside there, but you never finish in a proper way. The government over the years has developed various strategies for both a number of diseases, but none for the neglected tropical diseases. It gives me a lot of satisfaction to be part of the team that has worked very hard to come up with this strategy. This document has been developed in line with the Ministry of Public Health and Sanitation vision of transforming Kenya into a nation free from preventable diseases and ill health. This resonates very well to the Vision 2030 and the Millennium Development. Ladies and gentlemen, the strategy aims at guiding the implementation of neglected tropical diseases in an integrated way to maximize on benefits. The document is the product of extensive consultations with partners and stakeholders. This national multi year strategic plan of action for control of neglected tropical diseases comes at a time when there is global goodwill for the control of entities. Was the launch successful? Well, this is just the beginning of uh, our road to eradication of these diseases. We really want to mobilize resources to move into the implementation phase. And I feel that today was the beginning of that. Getting awareness to the partners and getting them involved in control of these diseases because we know no one partner can do it alone we all need to move together yeah. Yeah, the biggest challenge is that these diseases are uh, they cause disabilities and with that you know very well that someone with a disability cannot be able to earn a normal livelihood and that is how actually the party comes in two these diseases take long, I mean, a long time treatment. And therefore, they take away the little resources that they have. Three, most of these diseases are found in those remote areas where maybe distant to the health facility may be quite uh, long and they are not able to reach. Three, the, these populations may not even be having a, a, a regular income to enable them meet the treatment costs. So these are really challenges at that community level. And that's the reason why we feel that bringing together partners, they should be able to support this initiative so that we can be able to at least help or give somebody a healthy, uh, be able to treat these people so that they, they can be healthy.
and be able to earn their livelihoods. Now that the strategic plan has been launched, what next? I think the most important part now is getting this out to the public and getting this implemented. A lot of partners are needed in this. There are already active partners who have been working together with the ministry and with WHO in setting the plan. A lot of partners have also already been working in the field. So I think what's the next step is how can all these partners come together, consolidate our efforts, make space for new partners, and together within five years we achieve the objectives that are laid out in the plan.